This AR-15 is uh, basically a M4 carbine uh, setup, but it's sort of a hybrid. I put it together to do this review of the Never Quit Grip, uh, which is on it right now. But I figured since it's put together, I might as well do a quick run through. Um, what we're looking at is a 16-inch barrel on an, a Stag upper, and this comes as one unit um, from Stag. Uh, it would just be called a complete upper. It comes with the bolt and bolt carrier and the charging handle. Um, everything except for the lower. The lower in this case is an LMT uh, Lewis machine and tool and this one is sold as a complete lower. I'm pretty sure I changed the Hogue grip though. I think they come with a uh, well, an Ergo grip I think and then uh, I added this little wedge of rubber here to fill in the gap behind the trigger guard. Of course that's my cheap uh, temporary thing until I actually get a mag pull. I'll probably go with a mag pull in here. Uh, it's running a mag pull P mag right now. Great magazine, 30 round magazine. And as I mentioned, I have a never quit grip on it right now, which is a piece of rubber that just wraps around the magazine well and offers some rubber for protection and for a, uh, a shooting grip using the magazine well. This one has the regular uh, front sight post here. Um, carbine length hand guards and again just the typical style I believe the oval offers two heat shields over the round ones which just have one um, it's got the railed upper and so instead of having the handle it's got the rails it's a stag so it's a good one in my opinion decent upper and uh, it's got the numbers there this is a removable rear sight. If I were to remove the rear sight and put it back on these numbers are to help index it. Uh, the way that this backup rear sight uh, is designed. It's called a backup rear sight, meaning that you only use it if you need to in an emergency. And it's designed to just fold out of the way. And you'd fold it out of the way if you were running an optic up here. So again, if I was running a, let's say, a aim point uh, uh, red dot optic at the top of the rail, and I removed it for some reason, these numbers would allow me to index it back to wherever it was for the uh, setup on this rifle. As I mentioned, it's got a back uh, flip up rear sight, two apertures for long distance and closer distance, and uh, has a little well. It has a little button to knock down. It'll just open with the, by clicking it up, uh, but it does lock into place with a little bit of a wiggle. Uh, this one's made by Midwest Industries, and it does come with the top or with this upper. Um, the stock, I think this came with the LMT. It's basically a no frills carbine stock. Uh, I believe they do that because they know that just about everybody these days is going to put on a fancy stock. So what's the point in spending any extra money on a stock? So they give you something that's functional, but you can tell from the rattle that it's not, you know, highly precise. Otherwise it's stock and it's a fairly basic M4. I guess I'll mention the M4 has to do with this cut. Uh, if this was being used in the military, it would probably be a 14 inch barrel, so it would be about two inches shorter, but because it's a civilian legal, we have to deal with the uh, national laws, and one of them is that the barrel needs to be 16 inches. This is a removable um, muzzle device, so that can't count in the overall length, so basically the barrel ends right around there, so 16 inches, imagine a 14 inch barrel would end about here, and the reason I bring that up is, you know, if it was a military rifle, it would end about here, the bayonet would still work and all that. Um, this notch here, though, is because if I was going to be running a grenade launcher underneath, which is basically a tube that uh, is called an M203, that would attach underneath here, and its clamp comes up and needs the smaller dynam diameter, so that's why this M4 notch exists on the M4 style uh, carbines. Since most guys don't like the under uh, sling mount, they don't remove it for whatever reason, but they do add a side sling mount, which is preferable to most everybody um, for lots of reasons. So it actually has two sling mounts, and I guess the option being here that if you didn't like one or the other, you just remove it. In the back, the sling is is literally just these two straps. You'd have some sort of a piece of nylon that just sort of straps around, so not a real high-tech rifle as far as sling mounts go, but there's lots of options to add sling mounts to AR-15s. Uh, this one, like I say, is just sort of a mock-up. I'm just putting it together to demonstrate this uh, 
never quit grip in another video and I just did the run through there but I imagine this would probably be a real good shooter LMT is a great company stag is a real good company so it's got pretty decent parts on it a couple of things I'd probably swap out but all in all it seems like it'd be a real decent rifle and it would work real well but uh, we won't actually shoot it because we're not at the range right now uh, anyway that's the uh, M4 16 inch barrel I guess we'd call this a stag rifle, even though the LMT lower is the technical piece that's registered as the rifle, this top end uh, is really, the barrel is considered the core of an, M, of an AR, so uh, you basically call, consider your barrel your rifle and all the rest are parts of that barrel. So this would be a stag 16 inch M4 style carbine with an LMT lower. I'm going to try to do a point of view shot here. Um, a lot of guys um, had mentioned they like this when I had done it in a previous video, so I'll give another attempt here. I'm going to back up just a bit so I've got room to move. So uh, most guys are right handed, so you're going to end up holding the rifle like this. With this one, since there's no optic on it, we'd want to flip up the rear sight. You can see that there's a fairly large aperture there. I can pull that back in an L shape part. Uh, an L-shaped part like this flips up and now we have the smaller aperture there and this would be for a longer shot um, because you've got less room for the front of the barrel to move it's going to be a tighter shot. We'll open it back up to that open one and I'm going to try to create a sight picture here if it's possible that looks something like it and now we'll go to telephoto and I know it's low on the screen there, but I think that'll be better than me trying to hold it. Basically, that's about the, tri the sight group that we're looking for in an AR. Of course, this rifle's cant a little bit because the way I'm holding it, but that's what it's like to hold a good sight picture in an AR. Well, if I do say so myself, of course, a little bit awkward here going with the camera in front of my face, but um, basically I'm getting the post off the front sight to go right dead in the center of this little circle and I'd like to see these wings either I, I prefer to see them just inside of the circle so that I know I've got them equal distance back you know going to the left and to the right like this and then up and down now that's a little bit tougher you just I sort of keep the bottom of the circle back here on the bottom of this uh, front sight post and again that's sort of Maybe up to everybody's personal preference, but I think that's for the most part what we're looking for with a good sight picture. Uh, with a red dot sight, I don't have one uh, right on a, ready to put on here, but uh, you know it would be a little easier to acquire. Um, this rear sight is designed to flip down if you are running optics, and there's a detent right here, a button, and I push it and then give it a little push backwards and it'll lock down, it'll fall backwards. It's not locked backwards though, so it's easy to flip it back into place when you need it. And it's fairly sturdy. This isn't going to hurt it, you know, just knocking it forward with a karate chop type of movement. Um, otherwise, that's what it would look like looking down the side of the AR. If we flip it around to if we are left-handed and we zoom out again, This is a little bit more like what we'd see. There's our sight picture. Looking at it from the side here. I prefer to run my AR with the magazine well as my uh, place to bring my, my hand. And you'll notice I try to keep my thumb flat all the time um, because as this door 